I have to say that, that I haven't seen five guys cram on the couch. You guys almost fit perfectly. Yeah, yeah right? We're, we're all used to cramming on couches. My hips are actually... Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> My hips are really deep. Yo, cram on the couch, bro. So you guys played an awesome set, man. You guys were Thank you. Thank you. So full of energy. I mean, it was just... All over the place energy. I, I remember a, a specific shot of you, especially, you didn't touch the ground in any of my shots. Like, I kept shooting, and you were like levitating in the air the whole time. I was like, dang! Yeah, actually, yeah. I, I actually took uh, magic lessons how to levitate. Nice. Yeah, I worked right down to my show. Yeah. Little David Blaine action? Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. First stage, so, first stage, like, a little mind freak going on. Yeah, we'll drive them on. So, I mean, like, what do you do to, to get yourself ready to, to pump out so much energy? Do you, like, take a five-hour energy, or do you just, like, you know, cut off the circulation to your wrists, or...? <laughs> Honestly, for me, um, I'm never really in the zone before I get on stage. Uh, it's always just in the moment for me. Uh, as, soon as, the, as soon as the first chord goes off, I'm, I'm ready to go. I don't know how this feels for you guys, but... Well, I mean, just sitting there watching you guys, uh, you know, I, I, you, you, you're all over the place, you're jumping all over the place, you're like Power Stance guy. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, Power Stance! Power Stance. Power Stance. That's awesome. Uh, no, and I, every band kind of needs this. Everybody plays a role. And then they got the drummer. And, and it's it was epic. I mean, uh, what, I what else the, can I say? I think the hideous bass is in the world, but uh, it's, it's cool. <laughs> He's never had one good photo. Well, uh, <laughs> name me a plain face drummer, and I'll name you a very boring drummer. Because all they're doing is sitting there. I mean, they, they don't look like they're doing a whole lot. They're just like, yeah, just champing out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when you're when you're good, so deep into it, you know, you kind of forget what you're doing. Yeah, my face kind of falls, but I don't feel my face anymore after a while. I just go for whatever I feel like doing. Uh, so uh, explain uh, writing the song uh, for you guys. Uh, when you guys like meet up and you guys are going to rehearsal, you sit down and you guys are thinking about writing. Oh, I got this one riff. You know, explain it. To me. Actually, sometimes the way it goes. This actually happened yesterday. Um, the way it usually happens is somebody will come to practice with a riff, and so like hey, I have this riff. Check this out. Play it. And then somebody will always conveniently have to go somewhere else, and then the person who wrote the riff is stuck in rehearsal with Thomas. So then the guitarist and drummer write a song, and then they're like, all right, when the guys get back, we're going to show them this. And then everybody kind of adds their own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's really you, know, you know who did that? The Beatles. That's exactly how they record. Uh, and that's actually like one of the coolest ways of recording is like watching. It's like the rumor mill. You ever play that when you're in high school where you lean over and just say something and then it goes around yeah, 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 and it comes out completely different. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody adds their little bits in. Uh, and that's so cool, like when it comes to writing music, just adding your own little personal style. Uh, now, what is what does everybody do? You play a guitar and, and vocals. Yeah. Uh, guitar, so the guitar, singer. Of course, yeah. yeah. The energy man, I'm the drummer, the drummer, the bassist. and the bassist. Awesome, and uh, he has big props to the bassist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bassist myself. Awesome. There you go. Um, but uh, I mean, you guys are just uh, yeah, great energy, great sound. I mean, just even hearing it from out here, you guys sounded on time, perfect. I mean, it, it just uh, it was the, of that genre. Uh, you, know, you really feel like you guys have done your homework. Uh, have a lot of influences in that in that genre too. I mean, that kind of power pop genre. I mean, who who would you say is your biggest influence? Oh man, that, that this is a. I so mean, I'm talking like so, the top. Okay, let's show, show your so tattoos first. Okay. They're all there. So here's it. You can find, basically find all our influences on my arm. Uh, got Blink One Eight Two. For me personally, it's Green Day. Green Day, Billy Joel. But uh, it's really different for all of us because Josh over here, he's, he's more of the bar in the water, bar in the water kid. Logan is basically a 90s punk kid with the Sub 41 and the Offspring. Offspring, yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. so little people will really like appreciate the Offspring. I love the Offspring. Okay. This is actually the middle guy. I'm not, I don't know. Metalcore. I grew up on Metalcore. Nice. So that's that. You gotta, got a little, you gotta have some backbone too. Yeah, exactly. You know, I like this. I'm used to crap on double pedal and the Nice. I like it. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of like gallows and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 
a lot of inner arguments. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that's what it's supposed to be, though. I mean, you should, uh, as a band, you should reflect your range of, like, musical, you know, your musical range. I mean, you're, you, you can't, like, we were talking to another band, and they were like, you can't really, I don't really know what genre we are because we play so much of everything. So, and you really do, you yeah, kind of have to be like a Swiss Army knife for the bands. Yeah. Uh, uh, to be able to fit, like, fit in with all the other bands, you know. So, it, it's really cool that you guys kind of found your own personal style and, and, uh, and you guys have just been going through it. You guys totally sound real tight. And, uh, Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. It's very, it's really funny because we've gone through so many different style changes. I think we started out as a tune, we started out as a skater from the band, and then we somehow morphed into the Blink-182 pop-up, and now we're where we are now. So. Yeah. And, you know, it's working for you guys, so. Then you stepped in and you saved them all. Oh, no, they well, they broke up for three years and then came back. Yeah, they both. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes you got to take Exactly. Yeah. School sucks. <laughs> 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 well, thank you guys so much for sitting down thank with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get this all and compiled into one big video and, and uh, showcase. You gotta your best. So, so when you guys when it does come out, you can get, uh, I offer we'll link you on the Facebook. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All the Facebook, all the Facebook, all the Facebook. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. 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 Thanks.